You can start. This is the microphone. You have to stop. The microphone is on. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Erica, and uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Alex Zizinga. I'm from Uganda, and um, um, I hold a PhD in soil water management. So um, I work on maize and uh, the changing climate in Uganda, and also I study the impacts of climate smart agriculture practices, which have been adopted in the rain-fed conditions in Uganda. So the outline of this presentation will look at basically the impacts of climate change on yield, grain yield, and water use efficiency. So we, in this presentation, uh, the focus was basically uh, on the impacts, how yield is projected to decrease globally, uh, due to climate change effects. And Uganda is part of those countries which will be affected, given the fact that maize is one of the major food security crops. Also, <clears throat> in terms of employment, agriculture also employs a large number of people. Um, uh, this is some of the ongoing studies about the variability in precipitation and also change computed from uh, long term years so far. And there is evidence that at least there is a change in the climate. Um, to address the issue, especially in agriculture, uh, we adopt climate smart agriculture practices as one of the approaches for increasing food security. But the focus of this is basically to increase soil water management. And also, these practices have been recommended by FAO. However, they have been inadequately instrumented in rain-fed cropping systems. So we tried to tease out a number of practices. For example, mulching, uh, permanent planting benzene pits, half-moon pits, uh, and they were compared with the conventional practices. Basically, the aim, we want to <coughs> realistically bring out the uh, scientific contribution in terms of uh, like improvement in yield and the soil water storage, which is highly needed for a high water use crop like maize, for example. Um, and also looking at the, role, at the role of CSA practices, they can address the issue of limited rainfall uh, because practices like mulch insulates the soil surface and decreases soil evaporation. And also in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, water use still, transpiration, uh, when there is availability of water, the storage, there is high chances of water use and uptake to the crops so that you limit water stress. Um, so CSA is supposed to address that, especially, sorry, CSA is supposed to, to address uh, that kind of challenge like uh, soil evaporation and uh, also limited rainfall so that the water use is increased. So this was just the kind of experimental design which we, which we used. Personally, I instrumented these practices into a long-term experiment, like uh, it was two years, and the, we tried to study these practices, and control is the conventional practice by the farmers, smallholder, and the half moon pits represented by HM and PPB, they are permanent planting benzene pits, and also mulch. Uh, these are some of the practices which 
are recommended by FAO in the tropical agriculture uh, climate. So mulch here was varied in uh, different variations, two centimeter, four centimeter, and six centimeter. Um, basically this experiment, uh, basically the experiment, it helped in parameterizing the model uh, because we obtained the seasonal data, but basically we wanted to collect the observations from this experiment so that we parameterize the aqua crop model in seasons. And uh, uh, this is how we did it basically for calibration purposes and the season three was used for calibration while season one and season two were used for, for validation of the model. Aqua crop model was chosen because it is a water driven crop model and the, since the study basically measured on crop water use efficiency, that's why I adopted the aqua crop model. Uh, after getting the observations for the crop, basically it was an input for the aqua crop model in the crop file. But we needed the climate as a driver for this kind of activity and the, I <coughs> uh, employed the, the GSM model by first downscaling uh, using the AGMIP protocol procedure. And for AGMIP, it is Agricultural Intercomparison Improvement Model project, which has been implemented in Eastern Africa. And basically, these were models integrated at the regional level to study the impacts of climate change in agricultural sector, livestock, and livestock. So uh, basically here, uh, we downscaled and we, the models were clustered into different regimes, as you can see. And all these regimes represent different, they are represented by different models. And the color also responds to different climate regimes. So basically, uh, this one helps us to select which models using the ensemble mean, which models really are near to, to the climate of the study area. But remember, in the downscaling, we used 30 year data, climate data from, uh, from the study area where the experiment was done. Uh, on the results, basically, uh, the, the, the grain yield was impacted, was uh, simulated, and we show how the CSA practices, uh, which are down here, how uh, they influenced the yield, how they impacted the yield, and also uh, the contributions of these practices towards yield enhancement. And also, the same thing on water use efficiency, also, and the projected climate change scenarios, also the impact was simulated. And clearly, we see that there is an added advantage of using these practices in terms of increasing water use efficiency. Um, some of these uh, results, 15 minutes is not enough to present the whole work of like uh, two to three years, but uh, these results have been published and actually they can be uh, found in this journal, so they could be uh, accessed. Uh, also, to, as I complete, we are trying to move this project ahead uh, first by trying to use now CMIP-6 to simulate the impacts of soil water management. And this one uh, I'm currently uh, starting to do it with the assistance from Alex Rain. And we are trying to use intersectoral model ISMIP projects to study the impacts using CMIP-6. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Question?